So, as you guys know, I did put up a particular video. It's gone now. I did get a warning from YouTube. So the video is gone. Addressing the internet part five. No, I don't need to address it. I don't need to address the internet. The internet should address me. So I'm going to pull up a couple of screenshots and kind of dig into the context without, without really like, you know, I went extra animated for you guys. Um, like I said, I try to keep things exciting for my subscribers. And basically, I knew there was a 50-50 chance that video was going to get taken down because it's... I mean, I've done plenty of videos that got taken down for that particular reason throughout my time on YouTube. So I did get a warning from YouTube. The video is gone, but my channel is still up. Everything's still good. But I'm not even going to say I feel sorry about it or anything because I'm not. I don't apologize at all uh, because simply it was somebody who basically came for me for absolutely no reason. Now, let me pull up a couple of screenshots and talk about this before anything. Hold on, let me email myself. All right, let me um, open up my email real quick and get a couple of screenshots I wanted to show you guys to kind of explain how this shit even got on my radar in the first place. Because I really didn't explain that. I was just trying to cook this for comedy purposes. <clears throat> and, you know, people are going to take it out of context, call me some sort of racist because I said, hey, I have ass. Listen, saying women don't have ass is not racism. It's literally... An opinion that's just like saying black dudes don't take care of their kids like would i get offended if if it don't hit no that's somebody else's opinion and it's a stereotype but basically me saying girls don't have ass is a stereotype it's not racism i'm telling you like i think that a lot of people are idiots you know like when it comes to thinking about these type of things and how they play out they're idiots and it, it shows like if she said all black guys need deodorant or all black guys, black black men don't wash their hair every day. I wouldn't be like, oh, damn, I'm salty over that. That's racism. I'd be like, oh, well, that's just something she thinks. I blurred it out. Um, and then I got this other screenshot for proof. So, here, I'm going to pull up one first. You know. And also, guys, remember, because I have a preference of the type of women I like and I don't respect every category of women, that means I'm also a misogynist, too, in 2021. Remember, I'm a misogynist because I don't respect chicks to sell their ass on the Internet. But am I a misogynist for respecting women with class? I, you know, I don't get it. But, um, yeah. So how many of you guys follow me on Twitter? How many of you guys remember this tweet on my Twitter. Okay, so that tweet says, now mind you, I just put up a random tweet, basically, you know, talking about how I think about Thor in the new game, God of War, Ragnarok is coming out, right? Because the Thor that I grew up off of, the Thor that I remember ever since I was a little ass boy was a buff Thor, blonde hair i never read any fucking norse mythology books like who cares about that like i'm not gonna read a fictional fantasy book and just sit here and just engulf in it and really like argue that these characters are real now i posted this saying literally the worst depiction of thor i've ever seen now if you look at the retweets there's 241 retweets there's 4781 quoted tweets there's 200 and Seven, hold on, 2,739 likes. How many of you guys know how Twitter works? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to a point here. How many of you guys know how Twitter works? Okay, so we all know how Twitter works, correct? Excellent. We all know how Twitter works. Now, let me ask you guys a question. How in the flying capital f with a capital F, right? How in the flying capital can I monitor as a single human being? Do you know how crazy my, my notifications were for fucking like five days straight because of this tweet? So how in the fuck am I going to see each and every individual 4,781 quoted tweets on my Twitter? Does anybody know if that's possible? I didn't even, after I kept seeing the notification, I was like, yo, like I fucked Twitter for days because I can't do anything on my Twitter. 
I had no idea this was gonna exactly I had no idea this was gonna go viral at all so there was a lot of people you see that there was four damn near 5,000 different people that quoted that tweet correct that means there's damn near 5,000 different people that quoted this tweet I'm not gonna see what 4,700 people say damn near 5,000 people say quoted tweet about the tweet that I put because it was a shit storm right there's no way in fuck. Yeah, I got crazy ratio from literally 5,000 people. Excellent. So, for some reason, there's a misconception that I happen to see this nasty plastic, melted plastic looking tweet. And that's why I started making a video. Now, I'm going to pull up another screenshot. The only reason that what this woman said i mean from head to toe the only reason that i even have an inkling of what this woman said in the first place was because of this dm right here i was checking my dms on some board shit and this is what i seen now let me ask you guys another question before i start how in the fuck could i see all my mentions when there's damn near five thousand people adding me for days I want you guys to just put yourself in my shoes for a second. How is that possible? Does anybody know if that's possible that I'm going to see everybody that mentions me out of 5,000 people? I guess that's what having a, I guess that's what being a celebrity feels like because my tweets will probably look like this at all times. So how in the fuck am I going to keep seeing people adding me when I just, I could, like my phone couldn't even keep up with the notifications. Exactly. I'm not going to see it. So, so here's how I found out about this. So I got this, um, man, when the fuck did I get this? Saturday, right? So mind you, so mind you, this, she said this shit five days ago, bro. She was tweeting about me for five, for like, I think before this tweet, it was like other tweets too. So I never, I never heard of this woman. I never seen this woman because these whack ass disgusting looking e girls they're not on my radar like i don't care about cosplay bitches i don't care about gross looking ass cam bitches only fans bitches any of that type of shit like that it doesn't even make my dick jolt not one fucking percent so the only reason the only reason that i even know about this is because somebody sent me a tweet that she said and it said you sucking dick for a man who is famous for making women on a, hold on for making women uncomfortable now let me ask you guys a quick question how many of you guys watched the heavenly controller video okay so for the people here that watch that video let me ask you guys a question for the people here that watch that video in that video did one point in particular time that i ever quote unquote like I was agreeing with them at all in the video. Okay, I, you know, I just think some people are fucking morons and idiots. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, I kind of wanted to bring that out. And I kind of wanted to talk about that. So somebody says, hey, yo, get this, get this lower bitch or whatever. Get this lower bitch. She been retweeting clouded niggas talking shit to boost her own following up ever since that heavenly shit. She probably want that though. Attention is all this chick wants. This dude wasn't even following me, nothing. So, you know, I was curious. I went and I scoured her. Um, I went and I scoured her fucking Twitter or whatever. And I seen that there's been tweeting about me for days. And I was just like, damn, what is this problem? Like, at first it seemed like she was mad about the heavenly controller uh, shit. But I'm trying to, I'm confused that why would she be mad about the Heavenly Controller video when literally I didn't, like, if anything, I was more so on the woman's side. Even though it was an unbiased video, I was more so kind of scorning Heavenly Controller for not knowing how to deal with these situations and understanding that these women only want them for clout in the first place. So I was confused at her tweet. So I see this, and then I see her talking about a fake age, and I see her talking about mentioning some you know mentioning old girl well you know me and her like that shit was a year ago like all we just because you guys seen us streaming together doesn't mean that we were like fucking around or i was her nigger or she was my bitch we were doing streams that's it 
So the fact that people keep bringing up some shit for, I'm just seeing this basically like saying shit that a tear sexual would say. And I'm like, man, what is this? What is this problem? Like, I never, I never heard of this before or anything. Like, what's wrong with this woman? So she's tweeting more shit, tweeting more shit. So I was like, all right, fuck it. <clears throat> I was like, I provide entertainment for a living. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out her shit. I'm going to make a video for you guys. And I'm going to roast this chick into oblivion. But just on some like entertainment shit, I could have really dug deep. I could have done a video like this very subtle. But I just wanted to be real animated for you guys and really give you guys a show uh, based off of an you know, looking e-girl that for some reason got this weird obsession with me that keeps tweeting on me. And this is what people don't understand. Like, shit like this, I should be... Well, from now on, I'm going to do it. But shit like this, I should always ignore. Always. Because anytime that I respond to somebody or something like that, regardless of the context, nobody gives a damn. When it comes to me, nobody gives a damn about, well, what's what's the real context? It's just, oh, oh LTG did it. Oh, shit, he's the bad guy off tops. Like, I was minding my own business. Somebody sent me this five days ago. And I'm going to pull this up again. I have a Thor tweet that goes viral. Excuse me, but I'm not going to see your tweet. And I didn't fucking make a video because I got quote unquote ratio, which is corny. Nigga, 5,000 people ratioed me. I can't see what the fuck basically 5,000 people are saying. The only reason I responded or even caught wind of what's going on is because this specific DM right here of this guy telling me everything that she's saying. I don't, I didn't know about this girl. I didn't magically see, oh, be, laser, I'm not super, remember I laser focused, ooh, 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 went through the matrix, found her specific tweet out of 4,700 niggas and decided to roast. If that's the case, I would have had 4,700 videos ready roasting everybody that quote unquote ratioed me on my channel. I would have had 4,700 videos to upload. And the thing about these idiots on the internet that they don't understand and that they're fucking morons about is, like I said, the only reason I caught wind is because people kept bombarding me with this woman over and over and over again. And I was just like, oh, okay, this is some typical. That's basically it. So, you know, I inflated the, the roast and everything like that. But even though the video got taken down, like, I don't. I, I don't even know the chick to dislike her. I don't care. I don't care about the situation enough to dislike her. I have no envy towards this chick or anything like that. Like I'm sitting here cool and like, obviously I got a warning on my channel for a video over a random I don't even know about. I had no business. I'm on such a high level with this, with this type of shit. I've came such a long way that this type of shit is beneath me in the first place. Like I should have never responded. I should have just kept ignoring this whole shit. But I wanted to give you guys entertainment. Like, when I see the shit people say about me, people say shit about me every day. I don't, like, it doesn't bother me. But I was just like, all right, let me cook this chick and teach her a lesson for clout chasing. You know, so, you know, the usual lure, right? You you choose me on the internet. You know, you probably think or praying to God I respond. I'll drop a video. You'll get your clout. You'll get your followers. You know, You'll be, you know, you'll be a hot commodity for like three or four days and then people will forget about you. It's the same song and dance. But I kind of wanted to read something else that somebody told me about it because I'm also being accused of uh, revenge shit. And I don't know what the fuck is that because I never recorded this whole sloppy ass. Um, I never knew that this chick was a cam girl or whatever the fuck she's got going on. I don't even watch porn. So... For me to do some magical shit that, from something that somebody sent me on the, on the internet affair, I got a whole bunch of DMs full of DMs of people exposing this chick. But let me just read to you this one particular DM that somebody sent me. I'm not going to say no names, obviously. So let me see what's going on here with this chick. It, that girl that came at you the other day is doing it for clout, LTG. My friends and I have been in her server and talked to her several times where she's openly come out with aggression towards people like Heavenly Controller wishing and harm up on him. She's told us herself that she is a problem and she's also been in and out of psych wards since she was... This girl is completely unstable and has had to change her name on Twitch several times to deal with her issues because people found her name and the mediocre that she was making, including dis a disgusting video where she I fucks with you heavy LTG and I'm not about this coming at you sideways when you did nothing wrong. We went over that. 
I did nothing wrong. Um, if you're going to use anything I've told you um, to show in a response video, I thought you'd like to keep my name out, which obviously that's what I would do. He sent everything. I don't, she probably got more videos, but he sent me of everything that she's done on the internet. Like I said, they're cl this claiming she was 18. Look, I don't care how old you were. Somebody sent me, looked at it. Um, I didn't post any graphical images. I just posted a couple of headshots for fun. Uh, that's not revenge because I never posted no. Um, it says this site has everything that my friends and I have found on her, including percent to confirm to be her. So when I looked at it, yeah, I don't know, this 24 now or something like that. So when I looked at it, it was her because she still had that faded ass tattoo on her thigh. So I knew for a fact it was her. If it didn't have the tattoo, there's no way I would have thought like, damn, she got all this makeup on and when she takes it off, she looks like it. But yeah, that's basically what it was. It was her. He says, um, also one last thing, by her own admission, the girl is broke and the only money she makes is via selling nudes. She believes that any anime related guys, easy pickings for clout. And due to her community being anime, or uh, due to her community being anime SK, uh, anime SK related, they told her that, hold on, they told her that to start fights with people that are heavily clouded, such as you, Heavenly, Expo Heavenly Controller and everything, because it's easy exposure. So that's basically what somebody was telling me. There's a bunch of other things that somebody was telling me. Um, like I said, as far as like my message to this person, you seem to have mental issues. I don't know if that's an excuse or not. I could go to a psych ward right now and act like I'm crazy 24 seven, but my thing is this is like searching for clout from people that already built the platform is it's not gonna work you know no, none of us is few we didn't build anything like that you know talking about i heard something about her talking about she's gonna build a case now if i'm if i'm kind of putting everything together it's basically looking like she's trying to obtain a bag and that's that's okay but to try to obtain a bag off men that, that work their ass off to get who they are, to get where they are, is hilarious. You don't have a case against me at all. That's a complete joke. Your shit is public where everybody can see it. I didn't post any images online at all. You're a chick that got upset over a video you never even listened to. So I'm going to play the video real quick before we rack up. Hold on. Before we end this segment. I'm going to actually play the video so that you guys can hear it. And I want you guys to tell me if one point in time in the video, I ever said that I was on heavenly controller side and I made it seem like the chick was lying or wasn't a victim saying, guys, I just want to wrap up this. Am I going to monetize? Yeah, eventually let's like, let's keep it cooking. Um, like I said, the only reason I even knew what was going on, not because I got ratio, because I got ratio by 4,700 people. Um, the only reason I knew about it is because that screenshot you guys see first, where somebody literally sent me a tweet from this girl, or not, she's not a girl, she's a grown ass woman, but somebody sent me a tweet from this grown ass woman talking shit about me for days. I never knew about her. I was never gonna find the tweets. I, I, I couldn't see my apps because my Twitter was in, a th my notifications is in the thousands. My Twitter was broke for five days. So guys, that's all it was. Um, I didn't make the video because I was quote unquote ratioed. I made the video because people kept sending me the tweets that she was saying. I didn't, I didn't even know I got ratioed by this sloppy bodied woman. I had no idea. Um, I don't know who the fuck she is. I don't really care something like this anybody from now on if you send me anything saying that somebody's talking shit about me if you send me a dm of somebody saying somebody's talking shit about me i'm going to block you if you at me with some bullshit on twitter i'm going to block you i'm not giving any more light to worthless clout chasers i built this platform from the ground up you know my other youtube channel i created my name i created this whole realm of gems and covenant bullshit. Like I did this shit all off the strength of my imagination and a collection of people that wanted to join and believed in me. And, uh, you know, like I said, I refuse to do any more content where I'm giving a worthless human being 
that has not even figured their life out yet, even on the slightest aspect, any more clout. It's beneath me. I'm, I'm better than this. And I just, you know, no more giving you shows of, of worthless people. Like, I'm not going to roast some that's ugly, greasy, balding. You know, they can't get his shit together. Still living in his grandma's house. You know, got old ass furniture, a fucked up, broken ass, you know, fake ass wannabe vertigear chair. Like, there's no reason for me to be making content about worthless ass people. Like, if you, if I'm going to make content on somebody, it has to be somebody that's equally cloudable. But for me to be sitting here with my platform, the specimen that I am, as good as I look, you know, as successful as I put myself in a, in a place to be, I have no business talking about a worthless slop or a fat ass or somebody else this or somebody else that you get what I'm saying like it's I'm too good for that and I have the right to say that I have the right to say I'm too good for that because I got it I don't like saying I got it from the mud but I came from nothing I'm self-made everybody else is trying to figure out a cheat code by using my name or a cheat code from using somebody else's name or, you know, stealing or fucking this rapper and trying to get on or fucking this basketball player trying to get on. Like, that's what people do now. Everybody wants a shortcut to fame. Everybody wants to catapult to fame. Everybody wants to catapult to popularity, a shortcut to popularity. I really hope that out of all of this, I really hope that this girl made at least $5,000. I really hope that she made at least five grand because if you did all of this for like 300 or you only got a couple hundred followers. If you don't have at least 15,000 followers right now from clout chasing me, like, I'm not going to call you sweetheart because nothing about you looks sweet. It looks sour. But I really hope that, that you got the clout that you felt you deserved. Your mastermind plan worked. You got a sexy ass black nigga with, you know, with, with a following to respond to you when everybody else probably ignored you. Congratulations. The video got taken down. Who gives a fuck? I got a warning on my channel. Ooh la la. I'm going to keep coming back. Next week, I'll come back with some more videos for you guys. It is what it is. We'll be streaming here on this channel. I'll see you guys next week on the other channel. But if you want to see me go live, fuck with me here. It's just that simple. Do I? And I'm going to wrap this shit up real quick and say one more time. I don't have no hate for that woman. Am I attracted to her? No. Is she me? Yes. Is the body trash? Awful. Can she do better? Maybe with some squats, you know, we could have collabed. You know what I'm saying? Like if she really wanted something from me, she should have DM me instead of talking shit. I mean, like LTG, I watch your shit. Is there like, what can I do to like, I got a YouTube channel. Like why do people, why do people come at people the wrong way? I could have helped her. She looked like she five foot seven. I know how tall, taller frames work. It's not like she's a unattract, uh, like a completely unattractive woman. She's just not my type. And the body could be better with help to help women. But you got to come at me correct. We could have, I could have really helped this chick orchestrate. If she really slid in my DMs, if she really slid on my DMs, well, slid in my DMs and was on some like, some conscious type shit like LTG, like I think you're a fucking asshole, but... I see that you have a platform, like I'm kind of an asshole. My cognitive is not all the way there, but you seem to have a hold of your shit. Like how could I build my platform as a woman? I would have helped you, bro. Like I was raised by a woman. I have, I don't like seeing women get taken advantage of or any of that shit. I like to help chicks that don't come off snotty, snobby and feel like they're trying to use men. I got the whole shit. I got six different cameras. Look, I could have, I could have told you what camera to get to make sure I could have told you what angles to hit to make sure your body was sitting better. Like we could have, I could have really, really managed your shit. But instead you wanted some quick couple hundred followers. Could have got more in the long run. I probably, you know, if you would have came at me correct, I might've been a nice guy. But to disrespect me, for nobody, for no reason, I never knew this woman, never seen the quote unquote ratio or any of that type of shit is absurd. It's absurd, man. Yeah, it's, it's really stupid. I, 
and like I said, I really hope the chick got some money out of this. I really hope she got a bag. Because if you're going to go this far, please make some money. Like, don't do all this shit for free. Remember, anybody that's watching, any women that's watching, if this woman is watching, you need to remember two things in life. Time and revenue. If you're wasting your time and not accumulating no revenue, this was stupid. You're going to be forgotten about in a week. You're going to be forgotten about by Friday. You're going to have to keep tweeting about me over and over again to get traffic on your channel. It's, it was stupid. I could have helped you. That's all I got to say about that, man. Let me pull this shit off my screen. I didn't, And I didn't even see the Thor tweet. I seen the tweet that the other guy sent me. I didn't even see the Thor tweet because I can't see 4,700 tweets. It's impossible.